Encouraged by many Nigerians over the killing of Lagos-based lawyer Omobolanle Rahim by a trigger-happy police officer who is currently in detention, a video has surfaced online showing police officers drinking on duty while dressed in military attire. The spokesperson for the Nigerian police force, CSP, Olumuiwa Adejobi, while reacting to the video, which was posted on Twitter, condemned their action, stating that the officers are not to drink on duty. While a viral photo has also surfaced online showing a police officer holding a cannabis crusher. The force PRO expressed his disappointment as he called on the state's PRO to fish out the officers and ensure that they are disciplined. Rufai, we were only talking hmm. about <clears throat> Mobile Andy yesterday, and I think Ayo made that point about, you know, drunken police officers. This is what we are seeing here. Rufai, we have not finished dealing <laughs> with <laughs> Omobalanle's Andy's death, and this video surfaces online. Well, thank you very much. This is Serious Marathon and the TV. Please do share our videos with others. Drop your comment. Please make them simple and civil. This is a reaction, Rufai's reaction and several other reactions to a video of police officers caught, um, you know, on camera, you know, having, you know, drinking, you know, with uniforms on duty, even with their rifles with them, drinking alcohol and all of that. In fact, one was caught with cannabis, um, scratcher. You know, trying to, oh, come on, let us take this reaction. And please don't forget, drop your comment, make them simple and civil. Share this video with others. Just please keep sharing, keep sharing. Thank you very much for watching. I mean, Oji, it's a sad, sad video. I bet if they are to do drugs tests for most police officers on duty, I doubt if a lot of them will pass it. A lot of them are under the influence. They are good police officers, please don't get me wrong. But a lot of them are under the influence. That's why they will shoot an harmless citizen. That's why they will do something like this. And I'm happy that they've been able to fish out, or they say they're going to fish out these bad eggs in the police force. Because a police force where people are smoking in their hemp, they can't be right thinking. And this is not about payment of salary. Is it non-payment of <laughs> enough salary that is making this one smoke Igbo uh, Abishoko? Oh, you get. You, you can see him. And this one, too, we call himself a police officer. That's why it even goes back to the recruitment. How, how, how did our police go so bad, so deplorable, that we now uh, employ people that smoke in their hemp? Look at this one. You see, you see that is a seasoned weed, weed crusher. As he is seasoned. Look at see the way he's doing his hand. So that's the sad reality. And afterwards, now they will kill people. The police people will go and commiserate. Yeah. You know, one of the questions that comes to mind is, did they actually become, you know, alcoholic? Or did they start taking all these things, these hard drugs and all of that, when they, after they joined the police force or before they joined the police force? Um, and just like Rufat just said, I think a lot of scrutiny should be going, to, going into, you know, the, the employment and, you know, deployment of police officers. I mean, I, I don't understand. I, seriously, I can't imagine it that police officers will, will be under the influence of alcohol or be taking all these hard drugs for which other people are this not, not, I mean, citizens have been arrested and, you know, come on. Rufa, you can continue. The mother will be telling you the pain, you'll be saying, leave it for God. Like, we can't be leaving it for God. A man is smoking in there, I am drinking, you are putting gun in his hands, no checks and balances. He kills people now, they will say, is the hand, is God. You know, also we talked about Omobalane's mother. Yes, she's that's the only sad. child. The only child. You see, and she said she was she, pregnant with twins when with she twins. was shot dead. And, 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 and she sold oranges to be able to take care of Omobala and raise her up to this extent. And we are consoling her, we are saying, please, you should leave it for God. We know it's God that consoles her, and we feel for the family. But when you now see pictures of police officers smoking weed on duty, Igbo, <coughs> then you know you can't leave things like this for God. You, it's not about God. My mass teacher, Mrs. Brimo, we always say common sense is not common. Common sense is not just common here. What can we do? We need to reform the police force. It's not only about pay. It's about checks and balances. Who are their officers in charge? And, Hoji, I'm even more scared for the country. If you have a police force that a man after 31 years in service can still kill somebody the 33. way 33 years in service, so then what's the hope of the new recruits? If, if an ASP for that matter, a seasoned police officer, can have that kind of attitude? Well, if we check, if we check the code of conduct, the police have a code of conduct. 
under principle five, he says that a policeman on duty is not supposed to consume alcohol. No. You are not, in fact, supposed to come to the office to, or be on duty in the morning and they perceive the odor of alcohol. Hmm. So we hope that the police will enforce his own code of conduct Absolutely. and uh, ensure that these persons are appropriately disciplined. Yes, this has been going on. It's not only cannabis they take off. They probably take Fentalin. Oh, they yes, take Paraga at right. police mm, stations. Yes. If a policeman stops you, who will be tired if you find a carton of a beer in your boots? Even if you say it's for your wedding, they will grab, they yes. will take a carton. They will say, uh, you should uh, take care of officers. <laughs> All right. It's well, true.